This is Baseball History Daily, and I'm Tom, a baseball nostalgia enthusiast, and I'm just here to bring you a few minutes about today in baseball history. And here's my co-host, Robin, to jump into today's highlights. On August 10th, 1924, Ty Cobb steals second base once, third base twice, and home plate once in the Tigers' 13-7 win over Boston that puts them on top in the American League. On August 10th, 1944, Red Barrett of the Boston Braves throws only 58 pitches and shuts out the Cincinnati Reds 2-zip. This is a major league record for fewest pitches in a nine-inning game. The game takes one hour, 15 minutes, the shortest night game ever. On August 10th, 1977, Billy Martin installs Reggie Jackson as the Yankees' regular cleanup hitter. New York will win 40 of its final 53 games on the way to the World Series title with Jackson contributing 13 home runs and 49 RBIs. On August 10, 1981, the Phillies' Pete Rose passes Stan Musial to claim the number four spot on the all-time hit list when he collects his 3,631st off Cardinal hurler Mark Littell. On August 10, 1985, Oakland's Dave Kingman becomes the 21st member of the 400 Club after a two-run bomb off Matt Young in the first inning of the A's 11-5 win at Seattle. On August 10, 1995, the Cardinals are awarded a 2-1 victory by forfeit over the Dodgers at Ball Day at Dodger Stadium. After striking out looking in the bottom of the ninth, Raul Mondesi is ejected for arguing the call. Tommy Lasorda also gets tossed when he joins the discussion. Taking matters into their own hands, the fans rained more than 200 balls they had received as souvenirs onto the field. The umps order the Cardinals into the dugout and award them the win by forfeit. It is the first forfeit in the major leagues since the infamous Disco Demolition Night, a promotion that occurred July 12, 1979. That was August 10th, this day in baseball. Our extensive collection of radio broadcasts captures the game's most iconic moments. They are retold to you by those who lived it. These broadcasts narrate more than just the game. They paint a vivid picture of the era and the legends that shaped it. Have a quick listen. Brought to you direct from Comiskey Park. Speaking to you from Crosley Field in Cincinnati. This is Ernie Harwell at Memorial Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. We're at Haven Field. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. Today we're out at the Polo Ground, that historic old home of the New York Giants, nestled in the lee of Coogan's Bluff on the island of Manhattan. Hi there, everybody. This is Ralph Geiner. Welcome to another big league game from Houston, Texas, here at Colt Stadium. And now good afternoon, everyone, to baseball fans everywhere. This is Bill Slater with Al Helfer and Bill Corum greeting you from Briggs Stadium in Detroit. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome you to another baseball broadcast brought to you direct from Wrigley Field. Well, it's another beautiful day here in Yankee Stadium. This is Ben Scully along with Jerry Doggett and Al Helfer inviting you to stay with us now. Excited to start listening to some of these games? Just come on over to members dot this day in baseball.com and join us today as we wrap up today's show thank you robin for today's highlights uh, you can find her uh, for voiceover work at robin says.com and if you enjoy the podcast please help me out and do one of three things follow subscribe this podcast and leave a review it really helps share us with your baseball friends uh, let them know about us or Jump over to members.thisdayinbaseball.com, join our email list, community, and our family of baseball podcasts.